Welcome back guys, Automotive Inc. here. So, uh, we're in the Chevy. I'm getting it prepped up to drop my fifth wheel plate in here for next week uh, so we can get some towing with it uh, with one of the fifth wheels. And we're gonna take the Godzilla and that both out there. But I just did a video, um, if you're a Ford fan, where you can check out and see the Ford Gooseneck prep kit that you can buy. That's gonna be the ball and the two uh, emergency chain shackles. Um, had a lot of questions in regards to, you know, where do you find one and what if I have one? Well, if you're using BMW, it's going to be very specific. Probably not going to work in a lot of them. But just a quick heads up, the Ford kit that I have, um, let me show you the numbers here. Yeah, that actually works, the, works in this truck. I knew that based on what I saw on Kurt's website. Um, to work with the factory prep tow. Again, if you're getting factory prep, I think this is gonna work with like Nissan XDs and everything like that. So, pop these little covers off. I usually use a little screwdriver, pop that off. Um, on it, same, same as the Ford, you're gonna pull this little pin up, drop that in there, we're good. Shackles, you're gonna come over here, drop that, spin it, push that little tab down, and voila, you're in. It's not coming out and it's ready to go. Uh, no need to necessarily grease this at all. Uh, if you do, just use some like dry silicone to remove it. You're just gonna pull that pin up, drop it again, and then I keep everything in my bag in my truck. Uh, same thing here. You're gonna lift up this little tab here, turn it, pull it out, and then I like keeping this in my uh, my vehicles. Aesthetically, I think it looks better when you have it. So just line up those two tabs right there, and then give it a snap in. So. That's really all that we're going to do here. So you can see the little tab indents there, tab indents there. And uh, we're going to pop those out so we can put the fifth wheel in here, but I do want to wash the truck first. So that is how you're going to install the Chevy factory gooseneck kit. And I know people are concerned about, is this good enough? Are these bearings going to be good enough? Yes, they're just fine for what you're doing. You don't need to worry about this, this design and how they do it. So thanks a lot, guys. Hit the subscribe and the notification bell. See you on the next one.